Have you ever wondered why nations invest so heavily in ballistic missile technology? In the grand chessboard of modern warfare, ballistic missiles play a role akin to the Queen, with the potential to deliver a checkmate blow. These high-tech projectiles, capable of carrying nuclear warheads, are the strategic linchpins for nuclear-armed states, offering a formidable deterrent against potential adversaries. Their reach and speed make them an essential part of a country's defense and retaliation capabilities. They can target strategic locations thousands of kilometers away, delivering a devastating payload in a matter of minutes. Moreover, the psychological impact they impose on enemy states can be just as significant as their destructive power. Such is the importance of these weapons that the balance of global security often hinges on their existence and potential use. Let's dive deeper into the world of submarine-launched ballistic missiles and examine two prominent examples, India's K-4 and China's JL-2. First, let's turn our attention to the K-4, one of India's most advanced ballistic missiles. The K-4 is a powerhouse of impressive capabilities. With a reported range between 3,500 to 5,000 kilometers, it can effectively target strategic locations in China and Pakistan. This range is significant considering the regional security dynamics. Next, let's talk about payload. The K-4 is believed to carry a payload between 2,000 to 2,500 kilograms, and yes, it can be equipped with a nuclear warhead. This heavy payload capacity could be a game changer in a potential conflict scenario. Now onto propulsion. The K-4 uses a solid-fueled rocket motor. This is noteworthy because solid-fueled systems provide a higher degree of accuracy and reliability compared to their liquid-fueled counterparts. They also require less maintenance and have a longer shelf life, enhancing the missile's operational readiness. The K-4's guidance system is another critical component. Equipped with an inertial navigation system and possibly a GPS guidance system, the missile ensures high accuracy and precision. This means it can hit its target with pinpoint accuracy, making it a formidable weapon. The K-4 is designed to be launched from India's Arihant-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. This provides a secure and stealthy launch platform, ensuring the missile's survivability in a first-strike scenario. Finally, let's not forget about speed. The missile is reported to have a speed of Mach 4 to 5, that's around 4,800 to 6,000 kilometers per hour. This makes it incredibly difficult to intercept, adding another layer of security. The K-4, with its impressive range and payload, is a key part of India's nuclear deterrent strategy. Now let's move on to China's JL-2. Now we shift our focus to the JL-2, a cornerstone of China's nuclear deterrent. This missile, with its impressive range of 7,000 to 8,000 kilometers, is capable of reaching strategic locations across the United States, India and other parts of Asia. Its payload, while lighter than the K-4, is still substantial. The JL-2 can carry 1,000 to 2,000 kilograms, which can be outfitted with a nuclear warhead. This gives China a significant edge in terms of nuclear deterrence. Like the K-4, the JL-2 utilizes a solid-fueled rocket motor, the advantage of this type of propulsion system is that it offers a higher degree of accuracy and reliability compared to its liquid-fueled counterparts. It also reduces the missile's launch preparation time, increasing its readiness. In terms of guidance, the JL-2 is equipped with an inertial navigation system and possibly a GPS guidance system. This combination ensures high accuracy and precision, making the missile a reliable weapon in China's arsenal. The JL-2 is designed to be launched from China's Jin-class nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. These submarines provide a secure and stealthy launch platform, allowing the missile to be launched from virtually anywhere in the world's oceans. But what really sets the JL-2 apart is its speed. The missile is reported to travel at speeds of Mach 6 to 7. That's about 7,200 to 8,400 kilometers per hour, making it even more challenging to intercept than the K-4. The JL-2, with its longer range and faster speed, is a formidable component of China's strategic arsenal. It's clear that China has invested heavily in the development of this missile, and it continues to play a crucial role in the country's defense strategy. As we delve deeper into the specifics of these two missiles, it's essential to consider their strategic implications. Both India's K-4 and China's JL-2 have significant impacts on regional and global security. 
and they play a pivotal role in the ongoing arms race between the two nations. The JL-2, with its longer range and faster speed, is a formidable component of China's strategic arsenal. But how do these two missiles compare? Now that we have a better understanding of these two missiles, how do they stack up against each other? Let's start with range. The JL-2, China's marine-based ballistic missile, boasts a reported range of 7 to 8,000 kilometers, which outstrips the K-4's range of 3.5 to 5,000 kilometers. This gives China the ability to target a wider range of strategic locations. However, when we consider payload, India's K-4 has an edge. It's believed to carry a payload of 2 to 2.5,000 kilograms, which is larger than the JL-2's 1 to 2,000 kilograms. This could give India an advantage in terms of delivering a larger nuclear warhead. As for propulsion, both missiles use a solid-fueled rocket motor. This provides a higher degree of accuracy and reliability compared to liquid-fueled systems. It also means that both missiles are ready to launch at a moment's notice, a critical factor in the high-stakes game of nuclear deterrence. The guidance systems of both missiles are also comparable. Both are equipped with an inertial navigation system and possibly a GPS guidance system, ensuring high accuracy and precision. In terms of launch platforms, both missiles are designed to be launched from nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarines. This provides a secure and stealthy launch platform, making detection and interception a significant challenge for any adversary. Lastly, we come to speed. The JL-2 travels at Mach 6 to 7, slightly faster than the K-4's Mach 4 to 5. This makes the JL-2 more challenging to intercept, but both missiles' speeds are formidable and would give any missile defense system a run for its money. So the K-4 and JL-2, while having their unique strengths, also share some common features. They are both key components of their respective countries' nuclear deterrence strategies, designed to ensure the security of their nations in an increasingly tense geopolitical climate. As we can see, both the K-4 and JL-2 play crucial roles in their respective countries' defense strategies, reflecting the ongoing arms race between India and China.